Okay, let's talk about how to go about calculating the pH based on the concentration of either hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion. So, um, in doing this, the actual process itself is very mathematically simple. And I'll bring the calculator into view so that you, the viewer, can see what's going on here. Um, it involves using the log button of your calculator, which on this particular model is right here. Uh, let's see, ah, there we go. So uh, this particular model is right here. It varies from calculator model to calculator model, but uh, when you're dealing with pH, you're gonna be dealing with the log button. So, let's look at how you wanna go about actually calculating this. So what I'm going to do is show you some examples, probably these first three, and then after that, I will give you some time to work out the rest of these and then I'll put up the answer key at the end so you can see if you did it right or not. So, let's therefore begin with the first one as an example. Now, how do you go about calculating pH? Well, simply the formula is pH is equal to negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. And I'll write it like that which means really what I'm gonna do is negative log of 5.32 times 10 to the negative eight, moles per liter, but uh, pH is a dimensionless unit. You're gonna find that, that it's gonna be just a number. Now, the way that actually looks when you type that in on the calculator, let's see if I can bring the calculator into view so that you can see how I type it in. I'm gonna use negative log, but I'm not gonna push the subtract button. I'm gonna use this one, little negative sign with parentheses around it negative log 5.32 and then if you have an exponent or enter exponent button you want to use that in this case it's second function and right here that little blue ee -E, second function ee -E, negative eight that's 5.32 times 10 to the negative eighth power equals and then there's the number and because there are and because in the original number there's three significant figures, I'm also going to have three significant figures in the answer. So the calculator says four, or 7.274088 blah blah blah. I'm going to say the pH equals 7.27. 7. That gives three significant figures to match what the original number had. And uh, that's pretty much that for that one. Um, the same process applies to the next one. 1.42 times 10 to the first molar, just negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. So that's what I do. Let's see, bring it up into view again. Negative log 1.42, second function EE -E or enter exponent, first power. 1.42 times 10 to the first. Okay, the answer is a negative number. Weight isn't log from zero to four, or sorry, isn't a pH from zero to fourteen. Uh, well, yes and no. There are pH. The pH of a particularly strong acid can easily be off the scale. Same thing for a very strong base, and that's what this is. This is a pH that's off the scale. It's a negative one point one five pH. So, pH equals negative log of 1.42 times 10 to the first, which is 14.2. Um, and so pH is negative 1.15, rounded to 366 to match the three significant figures of the original. Now, um, okay, so this is entirely possible. Yes, you can run across a pH that is negative or a pH that's greater than 14. Now, this is not hydrogen ion concentration, so if I take negative log of this, I'm not getting pH. Negative log of hydroxide ion will instead give you the pOH. Let me zoom that in just a little bit to make sure you get a nice clear view of what's going on. So, uh, negative log of hydroxide ion equals pOH. Well, what, how do I get pH? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that pH plus pOH equals 14. Therefore, pH equals 14 minus pOH. 
It's just if pH plus pOH is 14, I subtract both sides. I subtract pOH from both sides, giving me pH equals 14 minus pOH. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the pOH, and then I'm going to do 14 minus the pOH. So the pOH is the negative log of this number. It's a negative log of uh, 3.81 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Okay, so that's a pOH of 8.41. We've rounded to three sig figs. 8.42. So pOH equals 8.42. And then pH equals 14 minus pOH. Oops, there we go. Now it's in view for you. Okay, so pOH is 8.42. pH is 14 minus pOH which means pH is 14 minus 8.42. 14 minus 8.42 gives 5.58 as the pH. Okay, so that would be the answer to uh, my question number three up there. Okay, and it all has to do with the fact you got to make sure that if you are working with hydrogen ion concentration, yeah, good, negative log of that will take you straight to pH, but you got to pay attention to what you're working with because negative log of hydroxide will get you pOH, which is easy enough to then turn into pH because you just take 14 minus pOH. So that is one way to do it. I should mention there is another way I could have solved this one. And... Way number two, method number two for solving this question number three has to do with something discussed in a different part of notes. So method number two for question number three. Again, if the hydroxide ion concentration was given as 3.81 times 10 to the negative ninth moles per liter, there's another way to find what the hydrogen ion concentration is, because if you know the hydrogen concentration, then you know the pH, or you can find the pH very easily. Um, it takes advantage of the fact that hydroxide concentration times hydrogen concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And then if I know hydroxide, then I can find hydrogen ion concentration by taking 1 times 10 to the negative 14th and dividing it by the um, hydroxide ion concentration, which means hydrogen ion concentration would be equal to, let's see, yeah, it would be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th over 3.81 times 10 to the 9th. Negative nine. Whoops. And then when I calculate that out, I make sure to put all that in parentheses. One times ten to the negative fourteenth divided by three point eight one times ten to the negative ninth, giving that, which is a mess. So I'm going to change that to scientific notation. And by the way, just so you can see that again, there's this button on here. It says psi ENG for scientific notation or engineering or whatever function. So I can go in there and change it to either floating decimal, which is the typical number, or I can make it already give me scientific notation. That's a lot nicer. So it's telling me that hydrogen concentration, or hydrogen ion concentration is 2.62 times 10 to the uh, negative 6 power. And then I can take negative log of that, 2.62 times 10 to the 6, negative 6, whoops, and that will give me pH. Now, let's see, is that in view for you as I was writing that out? No, okay. There we go. So I simply take negative log of the same number. So negative log of 2.62, oops, 2.62 times 10 to the negative 6th. 
and that gives me a pH of uh, 5.58. Then this is the answer to question number three. And notice that the first way I solved question number three gave the exact same answer. So you can either find the pOH and then convert to pH as was done here, or you can use the concentration of one ion to determine the concentration of the other ion as was done here, and still wind up at the same place by taking negative log of hydrogen ion concentration to get pH. Up to you, they both work. Honestly, I think this is a personal favorite, but they both work. So what I would like you, the viewer, to do is use whatever is your favorite technique on the rest of these and pause this video now and then resume playing when you're done because I'm going to put up the answer key right now. And here it is. Okay, this is, this is the, yeah, these are the answers for the ones I went through. These are the answers for the other ones. Um, okay, notice pH is a dimensionless quantity. It means it's just a number. There's no units that go with it. Um, in each of these cases, what I did is I rounded, according to the number of significant figures in the original one, for the ones where I can go straight to pH, I just three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs. For the ones where I had to convert, um, an issue came up. So you'll notice, for example, here, this is two sig figs, even though the original one has three. The reason why this happened is because when you convert this, or when you take negative log of this, you get a pOH of 12.4. That's the number that only goes out to the tenths place. So this is infinite sig figs, something I probably should have mentioned earlier pH plus pOH is 14 to infinite significant figures. So you don't worry about this. You just look at this. This goes out to the tenths place, therefore your answer has to go to the tenths place. So this goes to the hundredths place, therefore actually, uh, whoops, this answer should have gone to the hundredths place. And this goes to the tenths place, therefore this answer should go to the tenths place. Okay, uh, let's see, any others? Yeah, hundreds place, hundreds place. Okay, so that's the reason for the rounding as it was. So, all right, there you go. At least your introduction to calculating pH from hydroxide and hydrogen ion concentration. Happy studies.